hello everyone welcome to amar jyoti's crochet world today i am here once again with my new tutorial uh, in my last videos i conducted a live session for making these beautiful uh, fish table mat this was as a uh, the as a pattern and this we have made along with the other participants who have uh, participated in the workshop and uh, i feel very thankful because and blessed uh, because they have uh, trusted me and learned something new this uh, beautiful fish table mat we have made together all the videos are available on my channel as a live streaming uh, videos and uh, today i am going to make a matching tea coaster with this fish see this fish is about uh, 17 uh inches and this is about 7 inches right so it is a tea coaster made exactly similar to this fish and uh, this pattern is a bit uh, there is a variation for this pattern so today we are going to make this beautiful tea coaster of fish shape and the color combinations i'll be using these color combinations the blue green and the light blue okay so let's quickly start with the pattern so the yarn that you have to use is any kind of yarn you you, you can use you can use a uh, thicker one or the thinner one but i would prefer that you use a four ply acrylic yarn but of thin uh, uh, density like i am going to use is this so i am using vardhman brailan yarn so it is a four ply acrylic yarn but its density is thin right so it gives a nicer look to your project so the crochet hook for this i am going to use is 3.0 mm crochet hook okay so this thing we need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle to hide all the ends okay so basic these things we need the colors as i told you minimum 3 colors you have to take uh, or you can increase the number of colors it's up to you but i am using basic 3 colors one is dark blue light blue and the light green okay and small amount of green uh, sorry black and white color for the eye we need right so let's quickly begin our pattern so we are going to start as for the uh, table mat uh, we started from the face of the fish so here also i am going to start with the face of the fish of the tea coaster let me keep it over here so that you it will get an idea what i am going to make so we are going to start with this face and going towards the tail so uh, make a slip knot and chain 4 1 2 3 4 make four chains slip stitch in the fourth chain from the hook you have made a small ring see this is the ring okay so in this ring we are going to work start with chain 4 2 3 and 4 so chain 4 considered as three chains as one double crochet and chain 1 will be a gap between the two Uh, granny uh, blocks so we are going to work this in granny blocks <clears throat> the granny block includes three double crochet and uh, uh, before that and after that there is a chain one space so this is i'll show you how to start the first row so chain 4 and in the ring make three double crochet 1 2 3 3 chain 1 then in the same ring make three more double crochet that means second time we are making this granny block chain 1 in the same ring make one more time the granny block or the three double crochet chain 1 now fourth time we will make only two double crochet because chain 4 that we made in the starting is chain 3 for double crochet and one for the space so we need to make only two double crochet in the end so fourth block will be completed by slip stitching on the third chain from the base 1 2 3 slip stitch in the third chain 
so currently it looks like a circle don't worry i'll show you the spaces so this is the first space immediately after chain 3 where you have made a slip stitch so you have to for row number 2 slip stitch in this chain space start with chain 4 2 3 and 4 chain 4 and in the same space make 3 more double crochet so 1 2 and 3 3 double crochet now make chain 1 now skip 3 double crochet or the granny block uh, which is after that then you will reach a chain 1 space in this chain 1 space make 3 double crochet 1 2 3 3 double crochet chain 1 and 3 double crochet in the same chain 1 space so why I am making this 2 granny blocks separated by chain 1 space because it will create a corner for your granny block uh, granny square ok so now give a gap of chain 1 space skip the next 3 double crochet ahead and reach the chain 1 space in this uh, space again make 3 double crochet chain 1 and 3 double crochet that means two pairs of granny blocks separated by chain 1 space chain 1 skip the 3 double crochet ahead reach the last chain space over here and then again make 3 double crochet Oops. chain 1 and 3 double crochet <coughs> chain 1 now you have reached the starting point where you had made chain 4 and 3 double crochet so in that chain space make 2 double crochets and slip stitch on the third chain from the base so 1 2 and 3 in the third chain make a slip stitch so row number 2 is done so this is a face of the fish it is ready now finish this yarn off making a chain 1 and cut your yarn ok so the face of your fish is ready right now I am going to start with the second color so let me take the second color as light blue <coughs> So I am going to attach this yarn in, in any of the chain spaces of the corner, not in the, bit, in the center part, but on any of the corner chain space, attach your yarn with a slip knot. Take both the ends so that it gets hidden. So I am going to start with chain 3 plus 1, that means chain 4, right? start with chain 4 now skip the granny block reach the chain space which is in the center make a granny block over there 2 and 3 now make chain 1 and skip the granny block and reach the corner make a double crochet over there so this is what you have made with this color now start with chain 3 turn your work now immediately after this double crochet there is a chain space so in this chain space make a granny block or a group of three double crochets chain one skip the granny block reach the chain space over here and make a granny block once again that means three double crochet and one double crochet on the top of third chain from the base so this was chain 1 chain 2 and chain 3 so this is your third chain on this third chain I am going to make a double crochet so row number 2 is done so this fish the this is uh, uh, the tea coaster is a two row pattern because 
if i show you this fish table mat it is a five row uh, pattern so all the, uh, the either it is a square it's a block e each one is having five rows in total but for this coaster we have reduced the number of rows from five to two only so this is why its size has been decreased so <clears throat> finish your yarn off over here okay my double crochet just got uh, frogged okay so chain one and then cut the yarn so two rows of this color are complete it looks like this now attach the third color i am taking the green color now if you see every time you have to start a new row from the right side of your work so when i i have done the first granny square i started on any of the corner but when you finish this row you end up on the outer edge of the um, the fish but you have to start every new row whether it is finishing off this side or finishing off inside you have to start on the right corner so it was the right corner if i say and this is the right corner but now we have to work this way so it is the right corner okay so in this right corner i am going to attach my yarn with the help of a slip knot start with chain 4 3 plus 1 that means 3 for double crochet and 1 for chain space this is your granny block so skip this block reach this space in this space make 3 double crochet as your granny uh, block chain 1 now you have uh, reached this granny square so skip this block and reach the, uh, the central chain space and make a granny block 1 2 and 3 chain 1 skip the next granny block and reach the corner of the granny square and make one double crochet in this space only okay so this is first row of your second color chain 4 which is three chains as double crochet and one chain for chain space and three double crochet in the first chain space chain one skip the block three double crochet in the next chain space chain one skip the block and one double crochet on the last stitch okay start the new row by chain three turn your work three double crochet in the immediately first space chain one skip the block then next space make a granny block chain one skip the next block make three double crochet in the last chain space and one double crochet on the top of third chain so this row is done chain one and finish off your yarn this much is done right so now i'm going to start with the next color means you have to alternate your colors whether you are repeating the same three colors or you are attaching every time uh, attaching a new color this is up to you so again because we have to start if i see the fish like this this is the face this this is the first block that we had done and when we have done this way we have turned our work to this side and then started doing work this way now again when i have to start coming to this way so this is the right side of the corner or right corner of the work so here i have to attach my new yarn okay attach your yarn with the help of a slip knot oops don't worry about these ends these will get hidden uh, at the end start with chain 4 2 3 and 4 skip the first block immediately first block there are three double crochet in between skip that and then in the first space make three double crochet 
crochet in one skip the next block three double crochet in the next chain space chain one skip the block and in the corner make a single double crochet one double crochet okay now start with row number two of this block chain three turn your work and in the immediately there is a space so make three double crochet chain one skip the block below in the chain one space make three double crochet two and three chain one and you have reached the last chain space in this chain space make only two double crochet and one double crochet on the top of chain three now finish it off this is done okay now attach your yarn next color yarn in this in this right corner or in the middle fish uh, this uh, fish bone we, we used to like in the workshop that this is the middle middle fish bone of the uh, fish <clears throat> so in this right corner I am going to attach my yarn with the help of a slip knot chain 4 skip the block and in the first space make 3 double crochet chain 1 skip the block 3 double crochet in the next space chain 1 skip the block make 3 double crochet chain 1 and 1 double crochet on the top of the last stitch so this is the first row that we have done okay row number two chain three turn your work in the immediately first space make only two double crochet chain one skip the block three double crochet in the next chain space chain one skip the block in the next chain space make three double crochet chain one skip the block in the last chain space make three double crochet Ch uh, uh, sorry three double crochet and one double crochet on the top of the chain three the starting one and finish it off Now this much is done, only uh, two sets of blocks are left over here now. So let us do and take the other color, <coughs> we will be having now green color over here. So attaching my green yarn on the extremely right corner. So if I look at this fish, we have worked for the yellow portion if I say I have worked the light green portion so for the black portion this dark blue is done for red portion this green portion will be there okay so we are going to attach our, yar our yarn on the extremely right corner of the fish with the help of a slip knot chain 3 okay and you have two double crochet in between so skip that skip those double crochets and in the immediately first space make three double crochet so now i have not given any chain space over here one uh, chain three in that last or the first stitch and then skipped the two double crochet in between and on the first chain space made three double crochet okay now chain one skip the block and in the next chain space make three double crochet 
chain 1 skip the next block in the next chain space 3 double crochet chain 1 and 1 double crochet on the top of the last stitch next row start with chain 3 turn your work in the immediately first space make 3 double crochet chain 1 skip the next block 3 double crochet in the next space chain 1 in the next space make 3 double crochet and without giving chain 1 space on the last stitch make a double crochet ok and then finish it off ok attach the next yarn in the right corner of this row with the help of a slip knot start with chain 4 skip the block in the first chain space make 3 double crochet chain 1 skip the block in the in this chain space make a group of 3 double crochet 2 3 chain 1 skip this block in this sorry in this chain space make group of 3 double crochet chain 1 and now in the last chain space make 3 double crochet and 1 double crochet without any chain space make 1 double crochet on the top of the last stitch ok start the new row with chain 3 turn your work skip the next 3 double crochet reach the first chain space over here after um, uh, skipping the first granny block in this first space again make 3 double crochet 1 2 3 chain 1 and then as usual 3 double crochet in the next chain space chain 1 skip the block in the next chain space make group of 3 double crochets chain 1 skip the block in the last chain space make 3 double crochet and 1 double crochet on the top of third chain from the base or the last stitch and cut the yarn by finishing it off ok this much has been done right so now we are going to attach the next color that is my light green color only one pair of block is left like here yellow color and red color so these two blocks are left now so on the extremely right corner the last stitch attach your yarn with the help of a slip knot start with chain 3 1 2 3 skip the block in the first chain space make 2 double crochet only chain 1 skip the block 3 double crochet in the next chain space chain 1 skip the block in the next chain space make a block or a group of 3 double crochet chain 1 and skip the block on the top of this last stitch make 1 double crochet so this way your row ends start the new row by making 3 chains turn your work 3 double crochet in the first chain space chain 1 skip the next block 3 double crochet in the next 
chain space chain 1 skip the next block in the last chain space make only one double crochet and one double crochet on the last stitch chain 1 and finish it off so it is getting its round side uh, like this round shape like this so now my light blue color work is done so i have kept it away now take another color i am taking light green so light green attach in the this right corner so keep it here and put your uh, hook in the last corner with the help of a slip knot attach your new yarn whatever color you want to take so start with chain 3 and don't start with chain 4 this time this is the last block or the last part of this uh, fish body so start with chain 3 only and skip the whole block reach the first space make only 3 double crochet chain 1 skip the next block reach the next space make 3 double crochet chain 1 skip the next block reach the next space make 3 double crochet chain 1 now in the last this this is not your uh, chain space you will see here a space but it's not a space because we made three chains and then three double crochet in the first space so this is collectively a four double crochet uh, set so it is com com uh, considered as one only okay so in this space in the last space if you see i have made complete three blocks till now okay in the fourth space make only two double crochet and without giving any chain space make one double crochet on the top of last stitch start with chain three turn your work skip the next two double crochet below reach the first space make only one double crochet over here chain one skip the block then three double crochet over here chain one skip the next block make three double crochet in the this space now after this you are left with three double crochet and uh, one double crochet the, or chain three in the starting so you have uh, how you are going to end your row is just after making a granny block do not make chain space so directly make one double crochet on the top of the last stitch or on the top of chain three and finish your yarn this row is also done so this is the basic fish is done now we are left with the tail so i am going to take the dark blue color for making the face and the tail and the edging okay so taking my dark blue color i am going to make the fish tail so attach your yarn again this is the fish body this is the right side of this work so in this right side i am going to attach my yarn with the help of a slip knot and then in the first post of your uh, if you see these are the double crochets this side if yeah, you work like this so these are the posts so in each post you will make two double crochet uh, sorry two single crochet one single crochet second single crochet now in the stitch make one single crochet so third single crochet i have done again two single crochet in the next post that is five single crochets are done and sixth single crochet on the top of the stitch okay so six uh, stitches i have done chain one turn your work one single crochet in the same space two single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the first 
stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the first stitch. Oops, my yarn is okay. One single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch. So this sequence you have to follow in the second row like this. So earlier we were having six stitches. Now we are having nine stitches. So chain one, one, two, one, two, one, two like this. So in total we have got nine stitches. So now we are going to make the tail. Start with chain nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine okay skip two stitches from the hook in the third stitch make one half double crochet in the next stitch again half double crochet that means in total we have to make four half double crochets third i have done and fourth uh, fourth half uh, half double crochet and in the next three stitches make three single crochet right so three single crochet my stitches are done now you are working on the fish back side of the fish turn your work so that you can reach the uh, front side or the right side of the fish so you have made uh, first row in the first stitch make a slip stitch so this way you can uh, count which row you are working so first row is done slip stitch in the first stitch now you have to start the row number two so slip stitch in the second stitch turn your work and now you are working on the tail this portion so make one single crochet in the first three stitches one two and three and uh, one half double crochet on the next four stitches one two three and four okay chain two turn your fish tail then four uh, one um, one half double crochet in neck first four stitches one two three four and in the next three stitches one single crochet in each stitch one two and three now you were working on thir uh, third row so slip stitch in the third stitch that's it now reach the fourth stitch make a slip stitch in the fourth stitch now we are going to work on the fourth row so one single crochet in first three stitches two three and one half double crochet in next four stitches two three and the fourth one chain two turn your work one half double crochet in the first four stitches now we are working in the fourth row uh, so, uh, fifth row fifth row so we will be slip stitching in the fifth stitch so two half double crochet done third half double crochet done fourth half double crochet done so one single crochet in each of the next three stitches one two and three and slip stitch in the fifth stitch five rows completed five rows slip stitched five stitches are slip stitched now slip stitch in the sixth stitch turn your work start with one single crochet in the first three stitches one half double crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four chain two turn your work one half double crochet in first four stitches three four one single crochet next three stitches two three and slip stitch in this stitch slip stitch again in the next stitch turn your work one single crochet in the first three stitches 
one half double crochet in the next four stitches chain 2 this is the ninth row we are working on so start with one half double crochet in the first four stitches two three four one single crochet in the next three stitches one two three and slip stitch in the ninth stitch below now tail is done fish is done now we have to work on the edging part so let's start with the edging from immediately here after making a slip stitch in the ninth row make a single crochet here see this is the space this space or stitch make a single crochet start making single crochet this way so one single crochet on each of the stitches whether it is a three double crochet stitch block or a chain one space just one single crochet on the top of each stitch like that now you have reached the posts now these are the posts or the double crochets or chain threes whatever you are seeing this side so on each of the post make two single crochet one two and one on the stitch or in the intersection point of two rows one single crochet so two on the post one on the stitch once again two single crochet on the post one on the stitch two single crochet on the post one single crochet on the oops one single crochet on the stitch two on the post one on the stitch repeat this till you reach the granny square the original granny square this is the post oh, sorry this is the stitch and this is the post one single crochet in the stitch and one uh, two single crochet in the post now you have reached the granny square so again one gra uh, one single crochet in the chain space and one single crochet on each of the double crochets one in the space one on each of the double crochets one in the space one each on the double crochets like that you have to finish it finish this edging till here slip stitch in the uh, end of the tail and then finish it off and hide the ends okay i'll meet you in a while after making single uh, crochets edging over this side and we'll make the eye of the fish together okay now my fish coaster is ready just eye is to be attached so for this i am going to take any color any color of yarn you can take so i am taking the black for the eye and uh, white for the outer black and white combination okay uh, you can use any color combination like orange and yellow or orange and white black yellow like this right so for this you have to make magic circle chain one and six single crochet in this magic circle one two three four five six pull the yarn and slip stitch in the first stitch chain one and finish it off that's it one part is done now on this we are going to have the white yarn so attach the yarn with the help of a slip knot in the same space where you have just finished off your black yarn chain one and in the same space make two single crochet one two so in each of the next five stitches make two single crochet two on each 
so that your stitch count will be 12 because in row number one with black color you made six single crochet now in row number two with white yarn make 12 single crochet that means two on each of the stitches so let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven twelve slip stitch on the top of this first stitch chain one and leave some long tail so that you can stitch this eye on the <coughs> fish face so I have finished off the white yarn left a long tail take your tapestry needle and with that with the help of your needle just attach the eye in the middle of the granny square like this as normally you stitch the appliques on your work so like this I am going to attach the eyeball or the fish eye on the fish coaster and it will be ready in a minute and that's it secure it with the help of one or two knots and hide the ends in your work that's it and cut the extra yarn that's it it's done your beautiful fish tea coaster is ready so it is a set is completed where is the other fish if I look at this for this this fish baby fish is the tea coaster and for the other fish so this is the tea coaster right so hope you like my video on making this beautiful fish tea coasters so please give it a thumbs up please like share and subscribe my channel if you have any queries please do write in the comment section if you have any suggestions your suggestions are always welcome and uh, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for each and every time i'll upload anything new and uh, those who have not subscribed please subscribe my channel it's a request because uh, your one subscription matters a lot and thank you for watching my videos thank you once again God bless you.